this part of the lesson is going to go over some possible stick tricks that you can use during the song uh, The Pretender by Foo Fighters. And actually these stick tricks you can throw into any song once you get the technique down. The trick I'm going to go over is a, a flip off of the drum head. So you're actually using the rebound of the drum head to cause the stick to flip. And I throw this one in usually at measure 25. So you're playing along. <laughs> So what I did was used the drum head to actually bounce the stick back up and catch it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now a lot of people think when you do this trick that you're just hitting the drum head, letting it go, and hoping that you know it comes back to you in the right place. And what's going to happen is uh, the stick is usually going to be out of control or it'll hit this rim. You've got to prevent it from hitting the rim. And if you really are using um, the drum head to bounce the stick back up, then what's going to happen is it is going to hit the rim naturally. So you've got to make sure that you provide a pivot point here uh, high enough so that when it does bounce back up, it's not going to hit the rim, and it's going to go in the right direction. So what I do is I hit it a little bit above the center, and I actually don't let the stick go until after I hit it, and it's already coming back up so that I can catch it. So I hit it slow motion, and then I let it go from here. And what happens is it'll flip boom so I hit it and on the way back up I let it go right about here that way I'm not gonna hit the rim if I let it go before I hit it it's just gonna bounce this way if I let it go right when I hit it it's gonna bounce this way but if I let it go a little bit after I hit it it's gonna go in the right direction another thing I do is I actually turn my hand a little bit so that when it flips my hands not in the way if I'm holding it in a regular grip and try to spin it my hands in the way if I turn it to the side when I hit it, then all I have to do is move my fingers out of the way, it spins, and I can catch it again. And when you incorporate that into the beat, say at measure 25, <laughs> that and is when I flip the stick and I actually catch it on count one when I'm hitting the next crash on, on measure 26. So it looks like this. And then on count two, since I'm here and really don't have time to go back around uh, and hit the hi-hat with the right, count two, I hit the hi-hat with the left stick and the snare with the right. So I'm catching on one, one, two, and I'm going to hit that way. And then back to the normal position. One more time. One other stick trick I like to do comes in on measure 79. We've got a little fill there, which is just a flam. So I figured, hey, we could throw something else in there. Now measure 79, you've got <laughs> and then you've got a high crash. What I like to do in between that uh, flam and the high crash is do a stick flip. Okay, and I've gone over that in other lessons. With the stick flip, you use your index finger as the pivot point, kind of like a teeter-totter there. Your thumb is going to flip the stick around, and you're going to catch it. So it's going to flip around one time. That can be uh, a little difficult to get used to. Of course, you'll sit and practice it and practice it until you're comfortable with it. But what you do there is on 4 E N, 4 E N, when you hit 1 on the crash, you're going to flip 1. And then you go back into the ride symbol. One. So measure 79 looks like this. One, two, And those are a couple of stick tricks that you can throw in there. Again, it's just for showmanship, makes it look a little neater, and uh, they definitely aren't the most important thing. The most important thing is, th is that you can play it uh, with solid timing and play it correctly. So uh, after you get the song down, that's the best time to try to throw in some stick tricks. Well, that was uh, The Pretender by Foo Fighters. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and keep drumming. <laughs>